everybody, and welcome. This is a very special moment in our lives. Today is the final episode and the final matches of the Dragon Ball Z League Season 2022 Tenkaiji Bowl and all of Dragon Ball Z League up until 2023. I'm your host, Yay! Dorgar, with my ever and jubilant co-host, DJ Anuma. Yes, hello there. So, due to his request, we've added Spopovich to both teams on a build -up. Yes! <laughs> to win the ball, you must fight Spopovich. He is on the it's strongest true. ball. You thought the boss rush was last episode. Now, let me tell you. No, so. We've got a 50-point build on Spopovich. Uh, no one's going to win because he is the main man. Well, besides that, we have, um... I mean, we have a lot. Today is going to be very interesting. Please we remember to stick around to the end. This episode. We potentially have a lot going on. Anyway, shall we get into it? We've got Rugrats versus Muscle here uh, <laughs> for the finals of the Tenkaichi Bowl. Uh, They're tied at 1-1 one and one going in to this. Uh, if you haven't watched last week, please go do so because the reason that Rugrats won this most recent one was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Frieza came in clutch at the end, that's all I'm going to say. And Bojack did absolutely nothing. And, uh, yeah, who do you think is going to do this one in this first match here, Dor? Um, because personally... Given how last week went, my money is actually on Rugrats. Yeah, I'm hoping Rugrats. I would like to see a new champion. Uh, they've obviously had a lot of struggles over the seasons, and it would be cool to just get something new. And it's nothing against Muscle, but they did win two leagues ago. So it would be cool to get Rugrats coming back, and that way they don't have to try so hard next season. They can maybe throw Gotenks out more. So and speaking of uh, seeing what happens. Chat, the cat has now found my bed. Starting us off, we have the glorious Cell Jr. against the, uh, you know... Android 13, also known as Blue 13, also known as yes. Destroyer of Hopes, or the Trucker and Hat also Bomber. Known as Key Up One, Power of Rage, Dende's Healing, Light Body, Light Energy, and Trunks AI versus Super way. Up 2, Keep Rising Fighting die. Spirit, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Tension Up, Active Heart, and Chad 2A. So, uh, it was Adult Trunks that was starting off for Muscle last time, and he was an absolute menace to Rugrats. I see they figured that Rugrats would come up with a solution and switched it up to 13, uh, who normally a savior. But Rugrats, big brain, threw out Cell Jr. first, who had pretty good matches against them, so we'll see. This is a really weird matchup, not gonna lie. Yeah, if Cell Jr. can do what he, what he typically likes to do during the season, um, when he actually works. He'll be a force to be reckoned with, especially if he takes out... Oh, never mind. Silent Sass 13 actually connected before that got off. What I was going to say was, especially if he can start hitting 13 with the two twos and keep it from the Well, the good news is uh, 13 has wasted his blast stock, so the his transformation is going to take a bit longer. He doesn't have Dragon Spirit. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's not looking great for Rugrats, but it's not like Soul Jr.'s dead. He still has two bars. He could certainly pop off with some damage here. He could also tag, try to get someone else in, and this... I think this is finally going to push it over Soul Jr.'s limit. Yeah, not, not feeling good. He's still got a half a bar. He could bring it back. Especially this grab and tag. Ooh, nice tag combo. Grab it in to the V2. This is exactly what you want. You need to get him now before he gets three blast stocks. You just need to power him down. Yes. Uh, that is one of the keys against Android 13 because if he gets his blast stocks up, if he gets his E up, you are going to have a bad time. That's been... Sorry. Random thud behind me. Uh, that's been proven time and again. Apparently my neighbors are moving stuff in the background. Uh, SMP for time and again, 13, once he gets going, will wreck you. Man, that, that B2, even if he goes down here, I mean, he hit 12k on Goten before going down. Didn't get the transformation, but still a very strong performance. And Garlic Jr. entering, who had an incredible match last time. It's, uh, 
It's not looking great for Agrats, but they're not down by too much. It's only about a bar and a half, I believe, difference. Just the leg. Oh, it connected. Now definitely so, two bars. Or I will say this. For those of you who are just joining for this Tenkaichi Bowl, Garlic Jr. is typically in muscular form on Team Muscle. This year, they kept him in Broly's ring, and it has proven almost all the difference. He has actually been extremely well for them. Doing extremely well for them this year. I don't know if that's fully true since uh, this is the he's first time he's been on the team in a while. In a while. Because he but is currently he is a here. member of Team Cinema, and he was loaned for Broly this year. Um, and he, he struggled a lot for the, at least the first like half to two-thirds of the season, but he's been really showing up here at the end, especially now in playoffs, and that is like the best time to show up. But the poll results are in. We have Rugrats at 56%, Muscle at 43%, so people are currently voting for Rugrats, but it's not exactly like a massive margin. Uh, and really, the Demon Child is in. Uh, so what we've got from O'Reilly build-wise, we've got... Oh, sorry, I actually pulled up Garlic's build. Uh, so Garlic is sitting here. He's got key up to Dende's hearing, Lush Boy, Savior, Broly's Ring, and Tien AI, and O'Reilly has attack up one serious late in every Savior, quick fast attack, and tension up the trunk they have. She actually jumped the order. She was supposed to be out last. And Dark Tiger is going Garlic. God, Garlic. He's done his 40k now, even if he goes down. He has done plenty of damage to help his team. Um, not looking bad for Argos. They are still very much in this. They obviously have all of Kid Trunks and uh, Aureli and Cell Jr. here before they are out of it. And all of Frieza. That's right, they have first form Frieza. But there's three full health characters over on Muscle that they are going to have to whittle down. And those bats even dodged by Aureli this time. Yeah, it's something to note here, uh, Bojack's build, I don't remember the AI, I think it's Gohan, he's defense plus two, fighting spirit, eternal life, so he is meant to just sit around, stall, whittle you down with B2s, maybe transform and start hitting you with big B2s. And it is Gohan, I was actually just about to read it when you jumped in there, it's one of the three Patara builds, okay? It's a little easier for me to remember. He also, I think, has used the same build the entire season. Yes, he has. Uh, for the most part, yeah, I think that's in a couple of games. And Aureli about to go down. She does. And in comes Cell Jr. yet again. Can Cell Jr. take out Bojack? If he does, this will be a leap to the Rugrats. Yeah, I mean... Both go into max power mode, and ult from either of one will do massive damage. One will kill one, though, and the other one will just mostly kill one. Uh, Aureli did a pretty good job, maybe not as much as they were hoping, but she did do some work on Bojack as well. Oh, now maybe it'll kill. Oh, never mind. And ping pong for the death, and in comes Frieza. Now, Frieza had a really good week last week. He comes in with... Sorry. Uh, Super Rope 1, Combo Master, Quick Fast Stack, Power Break, One Support, Broly, Rift, PJI, and a missed B2. Well, it doesn't matter if he misses if he kills anyways. This combo this might just do it. Uh, we will see. No, it does not, because he takes the time to charge and get hit in the face. Frieza, what are you doing? Well, Bojack, as is, will not get to transform. He will have to live for a good bit longer. It's a full blast stock. He's trying, but Frieza has decided to finish him off. Yep, and down he goes, and in comes Devilman. So Devilman, no savior, not really any evil characters outside of Frieza, and there's always a chance that they free agent bench and bring on Pan. So just coming in with, I believe, a B2 build. Yes, he's got, uh, well, actually, sure. He's got Super of One, Power of Rage, Super of Rage, and Support, Quick Fast Attack, and TNAI. So it's more of a super build. Then, uh, and that's why. He's hit a 3B2, or thrown 3 since coming in, but hit 1. So not doing too bad, is spamming. Yeah. Uh, now, could theoretically now charge up the max and just annihilate Frieza in one hit. Uh, yeah, it would do a lot, but he doesn't have a... I think... It would do about this. so it depends uh, because there's also his super pluses. 
But yeah, it would certainly do, it would now definitely kill. False courage, that's gonna be slightly useful. So they need Frieza right now to uh, turn this around on Devil Man. That'll be a good start because uh, there are still Trunks, and Trunks was the massive problem. Now we have the, <laughs> we're leading up into Trunks versus Trunks to end this match, by the way. That would be interesting. Currently we have the two uh, free agents fighting, though. Yes. Um, but if we go into Trunks, we will have big Trunks coming with EF2, Super Mario, and Super Mario, and Super Mario, and like Shazam, and that. So, he's just kind of trying to stay in. Um, which I would not recommend that he has the normal Yeah, it's, uh, these two are fighting down to the wire, I'll tell you what. It was a great combo by Frieza going stunned into B2. Ooh, nice dodge! And he will and take out Devil Man. Devil Man. Yes. So in comes Super Saiyan Trunks. He's got Attack Up 2, Savior, Power of Rage, Dende's Healing, Latent Energy, and Goku. So all Frieza really needs to do now is any damage and make him waste his ult. And there we go, he wasted his Savior. Um... He's going to go down here down now. he goes. I, so he stopped the ult. <laughs> yeah, that is the main thing to note about the ult to stop there. Or he wasted the savior, I guess I should say. He didn't actually ult. And now we have the kid trunks versus adult trunks meta. We have the time paradox. <laughs> I mean, uh, technically in Super, both of these characters were in the same area and even like saw each other, I'm pretty sure. And talk to each other. Yeah, I think that was the Goku Rose art. Yes. Goku, Goku, uh, Goku Black art. But uh, right now, Kid Trunks, he is just oh, going Ryan's ham. Seen. Okay, we're good. Yeah, spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen it. <laughs> that that, that art came out so Super long Saiyan ago. Trunks. Nobody cares anymore. That's true. But uh, Rugrat still with the bar lead here. Uh, if, if Kid Trunks can get back into this, they do have a very good chance to win this. Both teams, yeah. I mean, nobody's dead yet, so either team can win this. Kid Trunks, though, showing why they had the build swap, because he's just going crazy, and we are going to get Omega Muscle Trunks. Super Trunks! Now, if he gets a melee combo, he will he could pretty much nearly even it up with just a melee combo now. Yeah, there goes, there goes Trunks' charge rate. Um, big Trunks, that is. All right, we got, we got, we, why well, he's got to both be trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Big trunks on the ground. Well, any B2, I think, ends uh, adult right now. Kid is trying for it. He just... might do it via melee, actually. Yeah, the problem is you don't want to be in melee because this is like an incredibly high damage melee character you're going into. Just look at this. And that's a bar of melee. <laughs> exactly. This could end it. This might end it. it could. And a burning attack does end it. And Rugrats take the lead two to one. So yeah. Match four. Give me one second here. The cat has invaded my room and is on top of something he should not be. Fair enough. So yeah, was a incredibly uh, close match. Came down to about a bar and a half, two bars in the end. Very good. Uh, lots of characters doing things, lots of characters not doing things. It's just kind of how it goes. But next up, we are going to see, can Rugrats take it 3-1 over Muscle? This is Muscle. I apologize for you, so I had a cat invasion. Yep. Well, if you're ready. Line invasion, and I am ready. We are 2-1 to one Rugrats going to Cell Games Arena at noon. Who will win round five? Yeah, this is or going four. to be... Sorry, this is four. Yeah, this is four. It's who can push it to round five, and that is only muscle. There's one answer. The, your your quiz is quite easy, Numa. <laughs> yeah, here we go. No, no, Cell no, no, Jr. No. on his home territory. Can he seal it for his team by getting a lead against Android 13? Now, 13 had a very good round last round. Uh, Cell Jr. did tag, but he did a lot of work to the next character as well, and... I mean, we already know Blue 13 can come out at any moment if he gets the Blast Stocks. But he's already wearing blue. You know what I mean. He goes blue. Duba ba diba do bye Can't repeat this because it's going to get us in trouble. Oh my. 
No, because it is technically a cover. You are talking to a professional musician, my friend. Huh? I know the rules, and so do you. Sure. Rick Astley. Not gonna, not gonna quote you. You. And anyway, uh, like the TV show actually, on Netflix. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> absolutely destroying Cell Jr.'s first bar there. And Keep in mind, he took a pretty good lead against Cell Jr. last time. Cell Jr. mostly struggled against 13, and it was the uh, the incoming Aureli that kind of did the rest of his health. But yeah, a lot worse start this time. He still can do quite a bit, though. Yeah, no, if Cell Jr. can stop, again, as I said last time, if we can stop 13 from getting those B2s off, Cell Jr. actually could get to the new very good melee character. I mean, it's more like dodging, because Android 13, the reason it's so terrifying is, obviously, he doesn't charge himself, so kind of just have to dodge, because he's just going to get to three blasts. Yeah, he's just going to get to three key bars, and it's just going to happen. It's why 17 is also a terror. Blast stocks, though. And down goes Cell Jr. This is a lot more health that 13 has this time. So, in comes Frieza, according to the lineup. Yes, in comes Frieza. This is actually a better matchup, I dare say. I mean, the only better matchup is a dead 13 for Rugrats in their mind. And uh, yeah. this is not looking too hot for them because he is not only not dead, but he is starting to work on another character. That so they... But it's not... It's not like Rugrats can't reverse this. They've done it before. They have Goten, they have Kid Trunks, they have a Rayleigh. Frieza's done great in previous matches. Hey, okay, as a former team hold member from the old days, we actually tested first form Frieza with a Broly's ring for the reason of what happened last week. So we could see Frieza just being absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, he still gets tested on first form from time to time. I've talked with cold members, uh, both with and without Rolly's ring, but there's blue 13, 13, and that's why you're scared of him. But again, first form Frieza, it, he doesn't even need to care about 13 sometimes. <laughs> but if 13 takes out another character and doesn't die, I mean, that is then just... you're going to have an issue. They need to take rid of him. You need to get rid of him, Frieza. You can't let him keep... You can't keep letting him get away with this! Frieza, how could you do this? And that is why Cold Kingdom uses Final Form most of the time. Well... And in comes Garlic Jr. with a full power energy ball. And there goes most of the trunks. Uh, I wouldn't say most. There's just a bar. Most of the, the problem is that he's locked off, but Garlic is not wee, doing anything. Wee, wee, wee. He was he's like victory lapping. <laughs> he was just really happy that he hit Trunks. And oh leg. my god. <laughs> Trunks, he's right there. You're like looking at him. Off. Oh, there we go. We're locked on now. And, and then he gets hit. Into the face. So Trunks needs to have, like, an 80k match. That way his teammates only have to do 40k, and it is not looking like that's happening, unfortunately. He is, uh... Ah, it's like the it's like the boss rush, where sometimes teams do what you want to do, and they just don't other times. But you got to give it to Garlic. It was a great play by him. Hits the old waste. Or because he doesn't hit him right away, he doesn't lock on and get a use his savior. And he's hitting B2s now, so taking out a huge threat, too, in Kid Trunks. Yeah. And, as you said, said that was a massive split of Trunks dodging stuff. So 51% are saying that Muscle will not take it to a round 5. Um, I would argue that that is steady. Yeah, it's, it's about as even as can be. This won't take out Kid Trunks, but he is not feeling good. I don't know, like old tag? Uh, and a full power energy barrage, that doesn't work, but at this point, you've got Broly, not Broly, uh, you've got Bardock in the background. Nope. Let's try again. Hey, Jack. There you go. And, uh, wow, Carlick Jr. actually just did full takeout Kid Trunks, only losing under two bars. That is, uh, incredibly good me, for I'm a muscle. Gonna, 
and another Darkness I Beam hits. And now most of the, the arena's gone. And another Darkness I Beam. I mean, come Red on. Lord. Hey, this is why he was such a menace back in the minor leagues. He yeah. would just come in, sweep the leg, as he's been doing this entire match, and would obliterate a team, as uh, the chat has just said. So. Yeah, 2020, when we first saw him put on this key plus two build for Cinema, he was doing this every match, and that's where he uh, really became the sweep the leg king. And I was like, you want to learn how to sweep the leg? Learn from this man. And, uh, Hog took our leg. Yeah, he is bringing it back. Though we also saw First Form Cooler doing that as well, uh, and I know that he is something that... Garlic. Yeah, I and guess he so. He went to Garlic. He went to Sweep the Leg 101 with Garlic Jr. And there we go. Garlic and finally down. Two members down for down. Muscle, but three and a half for Rugrats. Now, if the Rugrats play that spot, play the tag game, they can do this. Aurelia's got the full tag bar. Goten can tag with him, or with her, and she can tag with him, and potentially, uh, neither of them are evil, so Devilman really won't do that much to them with his ultimate. He doesn't have Savior, uh, so his ultimate may never come out. It may never come out, but if it does, it's a useless ultimate. You know, what they need is Goten to show off why melee is so hard for defense characters to deal with and just shred him like he has been. Don't. Oh, look at that charge rate on Goten though. After, at that last bar. Yeah, fighting oh, spirit. If it, false courage lasted a little longer, he actually would have got to ult and a nice Kamehameha. Goten's trying. He's trying to bring it back. There's just so much work for Rugrats to do. He really needs to find that tag. Yeah, but the Demon Child could come in and, you know, be the Demon Child, as we all know and remember her as. The only problem uh, with that is that the Demon Child has to take out Adult Trunks, who has been arguably the hardest character to deal with in this uh, series so far, outside of last round. I mean, and matches one and two, Goten's, he was just a monster. Goten's done, like, 50k. Uh, yeah, like 60k so far. He is doing a very good job. He needs to tag to keep Rugrats in this. He needs to let Aureli do some stuff and get his health back because he's going to be needed to continue to try to work on the next character. He needs to win this, and he doesn't. And he does not. And so Aureli, with no healing uh, on the... Uh, if you were to not put healing into this match, has to do 80k or a, probably 75k to win it for Rugrats and not That'll push it to around 5. But if she does play in pro wrestling next, that'll deal a good amount towards Devilman here. Ping will do it as well. Ping, Hard Ping to dodge that it, one. But it's only 10k, and it takes away four bars from her. Yeah, but she's an android. She'll reach out those four bars. Oh, yeah, check this out. The fork attack, that is not what you need to see if you're the Rugrats. Yeah, she, she can only afford to lose, like, a bar to him, which is obviously asking a lot. But, you know, it's what she kind of needs. She needs all the health she can to take on Trunks because she's a melee build into his melee build, which means she has to be next to him, which is why Trunks was able, or Kid Trunks was able to kind of abuse him last time because he was able to keep his distance. She's gone to match power. She that's an ult. Oh, that's double my beam. That will do basically nothing if it connects to did nothing anyway because it missed. Now, Aurelia, if she plays pro wrestling, she will take out Devilman and come in with Trunks with her dang good Android charger. Oh, that'll and take dang, him out too. That'll take him out anyway. So two bars. She has two bars to take out the four of Trunks. Is it possible? Yes. But I have a strong feeling that we may be going to match five. However, you never know. Again, Demon Child. The problem is it's the Demon Adult as we've seen this year. <laughs> yeah, no, this is almost. the first year that we've seen him oh, dealing that much damage. But Aurelius almost brought it back to even. Ooh, this is going to hurt, though. I mean, this is max here. power mode We're boosted. And that is a full bar loss almost. But she's almost, she almost brought it back to even before he even got that off. So if she can do this, if she, if she does another ping, it'll be an even fight. Eh, it'll be a bar lead still for Muscle. She needs to, yeah, do a combo like this into a ping. The problem is she also has to not take damage, which is an incredibly high ask against this character. Devilman's one thing. Not exactly been the strongest character. All right, now, Aureli, you need 
K. Or no. Ah, so and we're going around five, folks. It was honestly a great for how much of an advantage Muscle had. Rugrats really brought that back. This really could yeah. go anyway so yeah Aureli, Aureli actually did her 40k there so like all the characters except for cell jr did their job yeah so as a special treat for this actually going to around five we will be doing this on cell games evening to mix it up a little bit Yes, and I will actually take Rugrats for this. Who are you taking here, Dork? I'm taking Rugrats as well. Like I said, I want to see a new champ. Muscle, they're fighting for it. They could still win it. I don't think anybody would be, like, mad about it. But, you know, the Cell Games conspiracy, it survives. The team that wins is always on Cell Games. So that'll at least stay true today, no matter what happens. And in a draw, we go to Hyperbolic Time Chamber. I don't think a draw is possible in this game. I think the game... <laughs> you were not there for King Cold versus Deburra then. I mean, it is... <laughs> it is not really going to happen, my guy. It's, it's asking so much in this game. Nice grab. Nice combo. Cell Jr. showing off uh, some of his he own combo powers. Because... As we can see, he's back in this one. Damn. Ooh, almost got key broken. That would have been really bad for him. That would have let 13 do whatever he wanted. Uh, and yeah, he is fighting and doing quite a good job. What a weird little combo yeah, because of the corner. And he Half touches the B2 because he's a Rugrat. Full bar lead now from Cell Jr. Holy cow, look at Cell Jr. go. And we're back to even. Eh, he traded, he traded the bar for key. If he uses his key, then it'll be fine. The problem is he's not getting the opportunity. Yeah, he let 13 come back in with Halo. And a B2. Oh, he could B2 after this? Nope. Is he gonna go for the ult? <laughs> Ooh, we see Ooh nice, especially into attack. Ooh, he has two bars. Tag. All right, you need to get on him right now, man. He's got three blast stocks. All right, well, and this wasn't a surprise. One bar and three blast stocks, it's almost guaranteed. You could also see the ball. Or, you know, Goten's equivalent. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good melee combo. A little bit more like that, he'll take out, yeah. Yeah, Blue there 13. goes 13, holy cow. Well done, Goten. I mean, that was, that was a lot of Cell Jr., let's be honest. Cell Jr., for the first time, actually took a health lead against Android 13. Now, here's the next problem, is that Garlic Jr. had an incredible match last match, and he's had incredible series so far. Can they change it? Alt from Goten misses. That's massive, because Garlic Jr. does not... Oh, or not. I'm not, I'm not gonna <laughs> he lost. He lost the clash, and then. Uh, yeah. That thought. yeah. <laughs> that was that was me starting something that I couldn't finish. High speed rest of the zone. Another clash. Another 50-50. Garlic should theoretically win it, but nope. Goten does not have a clash boost. He's just winning these based off the game's random chance. The leg. Not even the game. He's just sweeping the leg to win. Ooh, now this is dangerous. Both have devastating ults. You can see an illegal tag here. Or a power bomb. For power energy ball, also known as power bomb. To me. Now, will he be locked off for a long time? No, he figured it out. He learned from Trunk's mistake. He's going to run out of max power and... Well, he didn't run out of max power on timeout, at least. Yeah, but he would have if he didn't do that. He didn't so see the illegal tag. Even if he goes down, uh, it's still a dead even match, by the way. Oh my god, uh -huh. what is happening? Goten! Uh, Goten! Goten just got... Goten just got wobbled, dude. Yeah, that's a wobble, I'll admit to that. <laughs> say wobble. Timestamp that, guys. That was wobble. a wob wobble. Wow, that was bizarre. I have never seen the AI do something like that. That was something else. Now, Aureli, you need to finish off this man. He is a menace. He knows the dirty tricks. Muscle taught him everything. They wanted him to win this. Yeah, no, like, 
he just completely got waffled. <laughs> and he's still like fighting. He's not out of it yet. He could go for a sweep the legs after this. Or a tag. Like, or he could tag. That is even bigger. Although it is Bojack. Bojack has not shown up in this series so far. So technically, it's even health right now, but Muscle is starting to take the lead with a Rayleigh having done almost nothing here to Bojack. Man, Though that could change I, very quickly. Somebody clip that, the wobble. Just, I can't get over it. <laughs> oh, gets grabbed out of oh, the ping. grabbed out of the ping! Yeah, it's not, it's not invincible. It's just once you get going, it's very hard to deal with. Yeah, really struggling heavily against Bojack. You you seem to have made Bojack mad with your comments there. I, so for a rug for know, someone hoping Rugrats to win, that was a bad comment. <laughs> if it wasn't true, I wouldn't have said it. Fair enough. But yeah, Rayleigh just getting absolutely destroyed by Bojack right now. She uh might need to tag because uh she's only done about like 15k in total this game. Yeah, that's not that good. She needs to get out of there. Let Cell Jr. come in. Continue his reign of terror. I mean, as you and said before, a play pro wrestling would go a long way in these finals. We have yet to it see one yet. Really uh, come on. Come on. I mean, on. now she's starting it's to get the melee damage. they took her hat away. I just realized after three matches, she does not have a hat. This is all Toshiro's fault. Hey, I wouldn't go that far. Sometimes costume two is the way to go, and a nice instant B2 by Frieza here. He could certainly uh, take out Bojack. It's going to be weird, though. Um, Bojack certainly could just straight up out tank Frieza, like he just did to a Rayleigh. Because he did 6K. I, I would like to remind people, the first match of this entire series, he did 6K total. Well, he's currently it's doing... basically even right now. Currently, he's going for 60K. Yeah. And he might get there, because, oh my god, he is just going crazy. That's, well... And that is almost 70. Reza, you might need to tag my guy, because, uh, what is happening? It is a bar and a half lead. Bojack, I pissed off Bojack. That's what's happening. Yeah, I mean, Frieza, nice combo there. Uh, an ult would go a long way for him. Ult would go a long way, Frieza. Just saying. Well, we jinxed it. Now he won't use it. A death beam would go a long way, Frieza. <laughs> Ball! Hey, at least that missed. Gives the Rugrats a little bit of hope. But yeah, Muscle went from like a two bar deficit. They, uh, I think they're now in the lead by like a bar. Uh, Actually, probably more. Well, when Frieza came in, it was almost even. So, uh, that's about a two bar lead. Oh, and that hits. Well, it won't kill, but this is some good damage. Finally getting a B2 to go through some of this defense. Yeah, and. I need to remind you that Cell Jr. did tag, and it was about to get tagged. Because Cell Jr. tagged with two bars. God. So, I, this is a very close match. And Psycho Pieces wouldn't hit, or would have hit. Oh, a Apparently it, it blocked that. Trap Shooter? That massive. That was bizarre. It's also very, very big because, oh, never mind. If, if Frieza could have used the max power of Trunks, and we got Trunks versus Trunks again, folks! Yeah, the Kid Trunks needs to have a good match, though, because uh, his team is in a little bit of a pickle right now. That's an ult! Trunks can take out Trunks. We are dead even right now. Never mind. We are, uh, Rugrats are a bar and a half down. Yeah, Muscle has, like, a full character lead, by the way, because of their tag game. It is literally this and Cell Jr. Yes. Right? And, uh, it's also... That cell junior, it's trunks, garlic, and a bar. And those. full devil man. That's oh, shit. yes. Yeah, devil man. Muscle right devil now man. is about to win by like a massive margin unless Trunks can do something. Cause uh, I I mean I'm sorry to say wow. it, but I think Muscle is gonna break the record for most Tenkaichi bowls again. But this time, instead of beating another team, they're going to break their own record. Because 
Hey, hey oh now. my god. Could bring this back. He is, he's thrown 10 B2s, and the health that Adult Trunks has is from Frieza. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Trunks can bring this back. I am not sure about that, my guy. I think we just saw what Muscle does, which is they, uh, they fake having an injury all season, make it to playoffs, and then show that they should never have been <laughs> allowed to be there, because holy crap. I mean, good on Rugrats, right? Good Taking tag, it to five tag, games. No, no, no. Hold on. Before you count the Rugrats out, that was a great tag from Trunks. Self Jr. had a great matchup versus 13. He could do well against Trunks here. If he does, there is a chance. We still have a chance. I mean, the amount we're asking is astronomical in comparison to the last few rounds. So, yes. yes. However, is there a chance anything's doable? This is an AI versus AI league, let's keep in mind. Uh, AI this is 50-50. We could have a massive dirt from Devil. So yeah. It's L Jr. Because Cell Jr. is doing massive amounts right now for, for Rugrats. Cell Jr. has carried the, the early game. He's carrying the late game. And he dodged the burning attack on the ground. Uh, couldn't, well, I mean, he only takes partial damage, at least. That is some good fortune thing is, yep, Trunks still isn't dead. If he can finish him off, this combo... No, looks like... Oh, no. oh wait! Trunks oh, didn't oh, finish oh. him off. Ah, and but he has Savior and he tags. Okay. I think that's it for Soul Jr. Now it might be, might be oh, he was too high up. Uh, okay. Soul Jr. can tag now, but Trunks has, like, no health. He has nothing to combo off that. I mean, Soul Jr. If he could just hit like a B2. What if Cell Jr. ulted in the tag? Oh, that's a great move from Cell Jr. Knocking him out of the sweep away. The problem with the ult part is he needs to charge up to the ult, and that's uh, been quite difficult you this mean match. Like that? <laughs> oh, I think that's. Oh, he dodges it. Dodged it. Uh, he needs to come get out of there. There we go, and he needs to ult okay, Devil Man. <laughs> ult Devil Man. And then there's still a chance. He needs to tag after the ult. Well, I see a problem. He's not ulting. He does take his free B2. He's not ult. He did some good damage, but did not ult. He needs to get out of this combo. Okay, well. He does not get out of the combo. Okay. Now it's a problem. And now it's probably... This doesn't kill, but it basically does. Or it might kill. It does kill. It it's 10,000. All and right, Devil well... goes Trunks to Devil Man of all people. Well fought, Rugrats. I'll be honest, it was well fought. However, your champions for this year are Team Muscle. So congrats to Team Muscle. Props to Rugrats for bringing it to round five. Holy yeah, there's crap. a there's a lot to give credit to. Uh, remember, they they credit. loaned Ojak Broly. Showing up. They loaned Broly, uh, played through most of the season with Raccoon, and had Devilman in here at the end. And yeah, I mean, this is just say what you will, AI versus AI League. They came in with an arguably weaker lineup than the previous two seasons and showed that, you know, sometimes you can just do it, like Rugrats. Right? They came in with a different lineup than the 2020 season, had a different game plan, and took it all the way to a round five. I believe it was only uh, like a four-rounder last time. So they, they pushed it to a round five, really, really pushed it close. So yeah, congratulations to Rugrats for getting second place. A very, very good Tenkaichi Bowl from them. Um, especially for the fact that it seems like some teams struggle to get back to the, to the actual bowl, right? After getting to the finals once. Yeah. So yeah, both no, these like, teams not only getting there, but doing getting this. It. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, uh, even making the playoffs in this league is a, it, it's a challenge. Uh, <laughs> now, let me tell you, as the coach of a team every... who did not make playoffs, it is indeed a challenge to make yeah, playoffs it is sometimes. It's a challenge just to make the playoffs sometimes. Every team feels like muscle when you're in playoffs. Every team is scary. Every team does it. There is no team muscle this or that. Every team was doing this, right? Like, I don't think anybody went up so against a team and didn't go, I have to win this, it's super scary. So congrats yeah, again to Muscle. Yeah, Rugrats, you're going up against Rugrats, you're like, okay, is, is, is Trunks going to annihilate us? Is, is there the Demon Koken Child? Gonna, yeah, is it going to be the Demon Child? Is it going to be Cell Jr., as we saw in the first match of today?
you know, what's going to happen? And at the end of the day, Muscle pulled through. Rugrats, great on you for getting this far. But Muscle... I mean, obviously, MVP of Devil Muscle in... is uh, Devilman and Garlic Jr., the two, uh, the two characters that aren't actually on the team, uh, one being alone, one being a free agent, really showing up. Devilman being a highly noted low-tier character. Garlic Jr. being yeah. a character that has had his ups and downs, really showing up mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so two characters that really struggled this season pop popping off here in the finals exactly when you would want them. So. Exactly. And Bojack going from 6K last week to carrying the last match. Yeah, do you Again. have any uh, final things? I think um, I have a few announcements, was... a few of the normal things, and then our final thing. So I know you've got a few announcements. My big thing is, folks, if you want to help your team get to the playoffs next year, start now. If you want to join a team, now is the time to do it. We are going into the offseason. Everyone's prepping for next season. You can form, like, you can help your team have their roster for next season. Get in here, join the Discord, join the team. You can affect the league itself going into next season. So please do so. Hit the link in the description for the league. Door, take away your announcements. Well, let's finish with the rest of that, which is also in the description. Hey, hey, There's hey, the hey, website, hey. the Twitter, the TikTok, pretty much everything you need to know about the league. But the Discord is the one where all the teams are. All the testing's done, where the TOP's done, everything. So do join the Discord if you wish to be an active part of a team, or just to show your support, honestly. You don't need to be an active supporter coming in, joining a team, and just showing the league uh, that you're here is, is a huge benefit to it as well. So, And please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon for the content that will be coming out here in the future. Um, as always, have a happy holidays, and... Do, oh, another reason to join the Discord. We are not announcing everything that's being added. Staff will put stuff. There's a public staff chat in the Discord. So you will need to go in there to see all of the announcements because I am not telling you all of them. There is a lot. Uh, what I am going to tell you is probably one of the coolest things. Newman, you might want to mute. So um, without further ado, uh, G, do I have permission to start it up? Pull the trigger. All right. Mute yourself. Here we go, guys. This, this is what the previous video was leading to. I'm getting hungry! Oh, what you taste like. Idiot! You wouldn't have suffered if you had just given in! Time for another delightful hunt! It's your fault for challenging me!